Yeah, Mr. Samyak Jain, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank uh, 9 in Civil Engineering Branch in ESC 2021. Sir. Uh, Mr. Samyak, uh, tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have availed from our ACE Engineering Academy. Sir, I have taken the ACE Engineering Academy test series for the mains examination, also the postal co coaching and uh, the interview guidance program. Right. See, in this uh, postal coaching, you'd have got some material. Did you yes, find sir. useful for your examination? So first of all, very, very thank, uh, thank you, sir, for providing me uh, the such uh, good material for the mains examination. And it was a free of cost. And uh, also the material has uh, uh, many things uh, which is related to the civil civil services examination, uh, many questions from the civil services also, which are very, very important in engineering services examination as well. Sir. So uh, I think uh, these things are very, very necessary for the uh, mains examination. Okay, and you have taken this uh, test series also? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what was that uh, test series contribution in our success? Uh, sir, in the mains, uh, it is very important to work on the writing skills, sir. Last year, sir, in 2020, I also faced this uh, UPSC engineering services interview. And the main uh, mistake I did in the conventional paper is uh, that writing skills, sir. And uh, even though I was very accurate in the answering, but my writing skill was not good, sir. So for the practice, uh, I faced uh, many test years, uh, especially for the ACE Academy. And I uh, write down, I wrote down many uh, papers and I improved my uh, writing skills. Sir. Okay, good. Samik, uh, tell me your uh, college name and your place and when did you pass out? Uh, sir, I uh, am a, a graduate of IIT Roorkee and uh, I am a civil engineer. I am a graduate of 2019, sir. 19, you passed out? Yes, sir. Okay, and this is... Uh, 2022 and seriously how many attempts you have given for this injury services mr samyak uh, sir first of all sir uh, this is uh, uh, my th uh, third attempt sir this was my third attempt in 2019 i faced uh, with my uh, college graduation i faced the interview of engineering services but i was 15 marks away from the cutoff in 2020 uh, i also faced the interview of engineering services again and I was 18 marks away from the cutoff. And this year, I made it to the last. Very good. And that too with a very good rank, right? So step by yes. step, we had uh, what you call uh, progress. Yes, uh, sir. Samyak, from your previous uh, what you call failures, right? I don't say exactly failures, but we can treat them as a stepping stones, right? So from those uh, previous uh, failures, what you learned and how did you modify your preparation? Can you please elaborate? Uh, sir, in 2019, uh, which was my first attempt, in the uh, prelims examination, you have to focus on the general studies as well. Uh, and uh, in the mains examination, it is very important to work on the accuracy as well as the uh, writing skill, representation skills. Even though in the theoretical question, you have to be very prepared. You have to uh, show some diagrams so that it will be uh, very, uh, it will look aesthetic. So these things are very, very important in the main question paper. And uh, in the interview, definitely you have, you have to be a good person. You have to have a uh, better personality. These matters a lot, sir. Okay. Uh, Samik, uh, when you are preparing for this uh, prelims, uh, we have one GS paper and we have one technical paper, right? Especially regarding this uh, GS paper uh, preparation, uh, what was your uh, article uh, strategy? Because there are 10 topics there. Uh, some students, you know, they leave one or two topics, they, they make some strong preparation on rest of topics. What was your approach in that paper? Sir, I would say in the general study, you don't need to, uh, you know, prepare in mind. Just uh, read, uh, you know, some small topics uh, and some strong topics, some uh, five to six topics, uh, which are very important for the general studies. And... Uh, and you can practice uh, uh, the uh, test series and the test series, most of the questions are covered and which might be repeated in the exam as well. So, and also the most important thing is you have to uh, encourage yourself or, uh, and also you have to empower the elimination skill. Uh, 
uh, which is very important in the general studies paper. If you know that, if you can, you can, you can eliminate the rest of the answers and you can find out the right answers. In the civil engineering paper, you have to uh, study the all civil engineering, so civil engineering subject thoroughly. So did you leave any topic? In the general studies, uh, sir, there are many topics I, I left, uh, not thoroughly, but I read superficially. Okay. When it comes to the what you call civil engineering, there are certain subjects like, uh, you know, they have got small weightage like geology, tunnel engineering, docks and harbors, airport engineering, railway engineering like that. So what was your uh, preparation on those topics? Did you cover entirely or always made any selective study? Uh, sir, in the IIT, sir, I uh, I read the railway engineering topic, and so which was covered there, and also the tunnel engineering, I take some rough idea and I did it, and about the geology, I did not read any a single question from the geology, sir. Okay, good. Uh, up to prelims examination, did you focus only on the preliminary examination type of objective questions? Otherwise. In addition to that, you have made any conventional questions uh, preparation also. Uh, sir, I would say uh, in my first attempt in 2019, sir, I was uh, really focusing on a uh, prelims paper. But in the after clearing the prelims paper, I was focusing on the conventional uh, test years. So this year, I also uh, for the prelims time, I was focusing for the prelims examination. Hardly it takes. Uh, uh, 20 to 25 days when you are already aware of the question papers or prelims uh, paper, uh, then hardly it takes uh, 20 to 25 days to prepare for the prelims examination. For the mains examination, uh, it requires uh, around two months. So it would be okay if you can uh, study after prelims examination for the mains examination. Okay, if possible, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So what about this uh, importance of the previous year's questions? Uh, so currently, I am seeing that uh, the question paper from the from the UPSC side, it is uh, right now for the civil engineering paper are really really easy and very 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 question many questions are repeated in nature. Uh, after 2019, the papers are really really easy. So you can uh, go through the uh, the question papers, uh, previous year question paper. It can cover the whole parts. Okay. Did you refer to even this previous uh, civil research question papers also? Uh, so for the mains examination, I uh, uh, I have covered the all civil engineering paper from the civil services, sir. Okay. Did you find it useful? Really, really useful, sir. Really useful. Many questions are very different in nature in the civil services, and uh, they might be asked in the engineering services as well. And also, Ace Academy postal coaching postal courses. Uh, many questions are there, sir, from the civil services. Yes. Okay. Uh, Samek. Uh... When it comes to the actual mains examination, out of the eight questions, you have to select any five questions. Again, there how you have what you call uh, compulsory questions and optional questions. So, how did you attempt these questions? Did you follow any order otherwise? Uh, sir, I followed uh, one pattern. That is, first do the mandatory question, first and five. Then the rest of question, and then you have to select one question from the section one and another question from the section two. Then finally, uh, the uh, the last question, the fifth question, uh, you have uh, right to the all question from the section one and section two. Now you can easily select the section uh, question number five from the section one and section two. So that would be perfect for me, and it worked. Sir. And one more samyak, uh, see from my experience, what I want to say, uh, normally students attempt this uh, what you call numerical problems in the beginning. In the last half an hour, forty minutes, they try to answer that uh, theoretical questions. What was your uh, pattern that you followed there? Uh, sir, in 2019, I uh, did the same. Like uh, uh, initially, uh, the numerical question and after that, the theoretical question. But in 21, I, uh, um, the theoretical, uh, I take the theoretical question and numerical question simultaneously, sir. OK, because you became more familiar with this question pattern and we got some experience. So the confidence uh, helped you to write those Yes, sir, definitely. Moreover, you might have got a very good practice and revision, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Samek, uh, it's nice to talk to you. Uh, can you please uh, suggest uh, some tips or strategies to the aspirants of the engineering service examination in general and in civil engineering in particular? Uh, 
in the civil engineering i would say to read all subject thoroughly and for the prelims examination for the mains examination you can focus on the main subjects and for main subject like uh, many times uh, upsc were asking about uh, the retaining walls counter fort walls and uh, other different kind of topics which might be asked in other i mean uh, next time so you have to cover the all things and very deeply in the mains paper in the interview for the interview uh, you can practice to speak out and uh, you know how to interact you can uh, you know uh, face the mock interviews of the different coachings it uh, and the practice makes you uh, perfect in every uh, step you have to do the hard practice okay samyak regarding your uh, actual interview uh, you are asked a uh, all technical as well as some dhanush questions also isn't it do you uh, sir, do you want uh, to share a few interesting questions with us uh, sir uh, one question was there uh, like uh, uh, there is a parafoot parafoot wall and uh, uh, so in the parafoot wall uh, there is a brick or the top brick uh, and uh, they were asking like uh, what will be the slope uh, i mean it is outward or inward i was saying that it should be outward because the water should uh, come out from uh, the wall and goes away from the wall but it the answer by was like it should be inward and it should fall on the roof and it goes to the pipes and uh, finally to the down so it was the answer <laughs> so uh, he was uh, answering at that time and i was wrong at that time but uh, and also one question like uh, there is a chajja chajja is called like there is a chajja something like a cantilever type एक्सट्रीमली गुड Yes, sir. In the interview itself, uh, they are not uh, seeing your uh, answers. How many answers you uh, do at that time? They are ask. They are also seeing their your confidence level. How you say no, and about the questions, and how you answer the right questions. They are seeing the all things. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. because it is a personality test. It is yes, not sir. that answer alone that matters there. Yes, sir. Make yes, you sir. wrong answer, but the way how you give the answer that is also important for them. That's really, why sir. Really. Personality test. Okay. So really true. Good. Ah, uh, Samik, uh, may I know about your uh, parental details? What is your father? What is your mother? So my father is teacher. My mother is housewife, and uh, my brother is still preparing for the PSC. My sister is married, sir. Okay, right. So your family members might have been very supportive to you, right? So they are very supportive, sir. Yeah. So, so convey our best wishes to your. Uh, parents also uh, thank you samyak so thank you samyak uh, for sparing your time and uh, sharing some of the useful points i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck thank in so all much. your future endeavors thank you so much sir thank you